You've all heard radio commercials. Uh, they have to fit into a certain length of time. So here's a piece of music. And if you look on the timeline up here, you can see that this piece of music is 15 seconds long. And if I'm making a 12 second radio commercial, I need 12 seconds worth of music. So I can use Flex Audio, and I can grab that piece of music, and I can make it 12 seconds long. It's a little faster, but it's the same piece of music at the same pitch. And if I, if I want it to be 13 seconds long, I can just stretch out a little more. And again, the music remains up to me. That allows me to do all kinds of neat tricks. Uh, so you were saying that you wanted to play the guitar along with a piece of music, or did you just want to play it slow and then speed it up? I wanted to try to learn how to play something. Right, so what a lot of people do uh, is listen to a piece of music, and sometimes musicians, and I'm guilty of this as well, sometimes musicians play really fast. And when you're trying to learn how to play a piece of music or a song, and it's going really fast like that, it can be difficult as a musician to figure out the individual notes. So one thing you can do is you can take a song like that and you can stretch it out. And I'll show you with virtual instruments what I'm talking about. I can play something very fast. And then using Flex Audio, again, I just hold down the control key and I stretch that thing out. Now I can hear the individual notes that I played a lot cleaner and easier to hear. And as a musician, it would be a lot easier than to figure out on a piano or on a guitar uh, what notes I was playing. So that's just one of the fun things that you can do. Um, anything that you can do with audio can be done in Mixcraft. You can record an entire band. You can record uh, a single track of audio. You can pick up a microphone and and record a, a love letter or uh, just a greeting to your family. And what's really great about it, now I've shown you the instrument part of it, but a lot of people don't play, and that's okay, you really don't need to play uh, to be able to make music. We have all of these, uh, and I'll just go through this very quickly, but Mixcraft comes with hundreds and hundreds of different uh, elements of music that you can put together. So you might not know anything about music, but you might want to sing along to a song that you created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the library tab, which shows all of these different sound effects and, and bits of music that come with Mixcraft. And I'm going to click on Country Shuffle. And what it's going to show me is Acoustic guitar, bass guitar, drums. I'm going to play you just one of these. I'll we'll listen to a drum part. That's a little four bar drum part. It's called a loop because I can take that drum part, that four bar drum part, and I can repeat it over and over again. And it's designed so that when it gets to the end of the four bars, it will repeat seamlessly. Okay, so it just keeps going. So I can take that short drum part and I can make it as long as I want. And now I'm going to put a little bit of bass guitar. Now all of the different bits of music are designed to fit together. So this bass guitar is going to go along with these drums. And I can take a little bit of electric guitar as well, and I'll have that in there. And everything is a loop, so I can repeat it again and again and again. And then I can control the volume. So we can bring up the bass and bring down the electric guitar a little bit. And we can make it sound exactly the way we want it to sound. However, because it's an extract, you're not limited to the music sounding the way it sounds. Of course, I can speed it up. I can select a different tempo. Maybe I want it really fast. Maybe I want it really slow. But maybe I want it in a different key. It's currently in the key of C. But if I want it in F, now it's an F. If I want it in A, now it's an A. With this guy, maybe 
you take any audio, you can mold it, shape it, and make it your own. And in this way, I've been able to write, just very quickly, a piece of music without any, without playing notes. I could then pick up a microphone and I could write a little melody to go along with this about my pickup truck getting stolen and my dog dying, and then I can uh, record that. And I can mix it all together, and then I can click the burn audio CD button up there and put a blank CD in my computer. And Mixcraft will write that to an audio CD right from the program. I can take that CD and I can play it in my car, and I can make copies of it and I can put it up on the internet. I can also take anything I've done in Mixcraft and I can mix it down to an MP3 file or a WAV file or Windows Media or a format called Odd Vorbis, which is a, a popular internet format that we support. Um, so that's just another way that you can use Mixcraft to make music. I'm going to 